Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Higurashi When They Cry Chapter 6 Chumi Horoboshi. So last time we learned yeah a bit of Rena's past, right? Why she calls herself Rena. Her name is really Reina. What she's doing in the dump, she has a secret hideout, right? And her history or her past with her mom. And how her dad and her came back to Hinamizawa. So it was very sad. But it was nice seeing that. Yes, it was nice learning more of her last episode. So let's continue. Maybe we're going to have some happy time today. Hopefully. Oh, kita kita. Oh, Rena. Okay, so we're playing as Keichi again. We're back to Keichi's perspective now, I mean. Yeah, Lena,今朝はちょっとお寝坊した。昨夜寝疲れなくてね。レナもか。<笑> Yesterday I had a lot of fun with my friends and went home still riding that high. I was too full to eat dinner. I keep talking with my parents about the great time I had over the past few days. I was so pumped up that I couldn't go to sleep, so it kinda sounds like I'm a little kid. But given that Rena seemed to be the same way, I felt better about it. No, I felt better isn't the right way of phrasing it. I should say I'm glad to know that we shared the same feeling. Rena went treasure hunting after I left, so I'm sure she found many adorable things when I uh, went home. Wait, what? I'm sure she found many adorable th things went home. What? There's something missing there. And talk with her parents about how great the day was. Ah, okay, okay. Ha,みちゃんだ。おはよう。みおんが先に待ってるなんて、今日は雪が降るかもな。人が珍しく先に待ってりゃ、そういうこと言うわけ。<laughs> it's going to be another happy day today. I had fun the other day before yesterday. I had fun yesterday. So I'm going to have fun today for sure. I'm happy and Mion is happy too. Of course, Rena and my other friends are equally happy. I'm not afraid to say it. And I wish these happy days would last forever. Nah, Mion. レナは提案ある。そうだね。昨日一昨日と体を使うゲームが続いたから、今日はあまり体に激しくないゲームがいいな。そうだな。レナの言うのも一理あるぜ。部活は肉体勝負だけが全てじゃねえだろ。もちろん。新、ぎ、たい。全ての要素において完璧であってこそ部活メンバーだからね。じゃあ今日は何かテーブルゲームで遊ぶことにしよう。Tabletop. Everybody was early this morning. We could enjoy our walk to school for once. After a while, we started talking about the upcoming festival. They told me that the festival was called Watsanegashi and that it's the biggest event of the year in Hinamizawa. Soda, soda. 
昨日沖宮の,の家に親類が集まっていろいろと話が出たんだけどさケイちゃんの話題が出たんだよお、talking about you ケイちゃんお、俺そのザキの重鎮が集まって一体何の相談だよいやさ昨日のエンジェルモートでのケイちゃんの活躍を見てた店長の吉郎おじさんがさケイちゃんのことを相当気に入っちゃったみたいでさそれでいろいろと話を聞いてみたら他の親類も意外にケイちゃんのことを知ってる人が多いんだよね南沢の名物男みたいな言われようだったよあ、very famous ね、名物男ってのはまた微妙な称号だなその称号の9割方はミオンの罰ゲームに関係があるような気がするぞそれだけじゃないけどさノリもいいし元気があって無鉄砲なところも今時の若い子にしては感心感心とみんなベタ褒めだったよ。I felt a bit embarrassed to know what people or that people I haven't met were speaking well of me。でね、今後の渡流しのお祭りで何かで活躍してくれないかなって話が出てね。ケイちゃん目立つこととか好きでしょおいおいおいおい本人不在で勝手に話を進めるな俺は孤独と静寂を愛するロンリーガイだぜ Quiet lonely guy <笑>誰がロンリーガイだチェリーボーイの間違いでしょ<笑>チェリーボーイ仕事の娘どもが朝っぱらから走ってないこと言ってんじゃねえ<笑> We really were still feeling the after effects of yesterday. Mion and I made a lot of noise teasing each other on the way to school. Rena watched us and laughed happily. Satoko and Rika chan were already there when we arrived at school, so they were also full of energy. Tomita kun and O Kamara, O Kumura, O Kamara <laughs> were too from that. I can tell that they also had a good time yesterday. Everybody has been having a good time, really. In Hinamizawa, everybody is happy. Mada hikoshte kite, ichi ne mo tatta wake ja nai kedo sa. Hm? Do shita no tozuya? Iya sa, Hinamizawa ni hikoshte kite. 俺、幸せになったなって<笑>どうしたのケイちゃん急に臭いこと言い出してレナにはわかるよひなみざわに引っ越してきてすべてが幸せになった気持ちよくわかるこの村にはねきっと人を幸せにする魔法がかかってるんだと思うからレナは幸せかうんレナはひなみざわに引っ越してきてからが毎日幸せだよそうだなそいつは俺もだちょちょっとなんかおじさんだけのけものっぽくないブーブー The sky was clear and a few thin clouds were pure white. The cry of the cicadas was telling me that the summer would be coming earlier than usual. What's in Igashi is just around the corner. I'm sure we'll have great fun at the festival too. There will be more and more days to come, or fun days to come, I'm sure of it. Summer is just around the corner. Okay, we're Grena now. So the last class of the day was finally over, meaning that it was time for club activities. I was sure it would be very fun. I couldn't wait. 
but then Michan received a call and told us something had come up and she had to go, so we didn't have a club meeting today. I was really looking forward to it. There was nothing I could do. But I could at least chat with Keichi Kun on the way home, so it'll be fun. Keichi Kun sometimes says mean things, but he's very funny. When I chat with him, my depression goes away. Wait, what did I just say? Am I depressed? I have so much fun every day and I'm as happy as I can be. What did I have to be depressed about? Well, it was obvious. Because of Rina-san, my father is happy now. Before he met her, he was like a lamp in broad daylight. Honestly, he was like the living dead. But after he met Rina-san and he, are, he started to smile like he used to when he was living with my mom, he enjoyed talking with her and started going out with her. You could probably say that he went on dates, or they went on dates. Now he looks 10, no 20 years younger. Rina-san gets along with my father very well and she's very kind to me too. There's actually no reason for me to hate her. But the bitter memories of my parents' divorce and my many regrets were gradually eating away at my heart. So uh, was it okay to accept that woman? Rina-san might be the same as how Uncle Akihito turned out to be. Is she the enemy who takes my happiness away with her very existence? With or without bad intentions? Am I going to sit around until everything collapses again? Should I fight the enemy before it's too late? Rina-san comes to my house a little too obviously. Since my father started letting her stay the night, many of her belongings have turned up in the house. My father and I don't smoke, but there's an ashtray in the living room. Hell no, nah, man. Smoking? Hell no. Nah. The futon in her guest room is hers now. In the bathroom, there's a toothbrush and shampoo I'd never choose to buy. I started to feel awkward about those things. And that's when I started noticing it at the front door when I came home from school. Her perfume. Yeah, Rena doesn't like her perfume. I asked my father once if he was thinking about getting married to Rina-san. He looked a little bit embarrassed, perplexed, and confused. Then he told me, not yet. He knew I was hurt by the divorce. That's probably why he couldn't admit that he wanted to remarry. That's why he said, not yet. He'd consider it, but not while I was still living with him. That's what he meant, I guess. So there's only one reason why I don't want him to get remar remarried to Rina-san. I feel offended but my, that my sanctum, my family, is being invaded. I might be being selfish though. I know keeping my father all to myself means... Keeping him miserable like he was before he met Rina-san. So he has a life to live too. It's his right to heal from the pain from the divorce and to live to find his new love. He wouldn't have to go through that painful life if I'd prevented the divorce from happening in the first place. The thing is you don't know. Like even if you did not uh, like Akihito in the beginning, your mom might still go with him so... Don't blame yourself. He has a right to be happy or to have right to a happy new life that lets him forget the pain he never deserved and I don't have any right to stop him. In fact, I have no obligation to try to return to his happiness to him. I have to pay for my sin, my inability to prevent the divorce. Then what should I do to make both of us happy? It wouldn't be that difficult. All I'd need to do would be to give my silent approval of their relationship. My father tells me he won't get remarried while we live together. So that means I should stop leaning on my family, be strong and live on my own as soon as I can. Although that doesn't mean I can tell him not to go out with her until that day. So Rina-san comes to her house to see him despite her busy schedule and 
she even stays the night whenever her shifts permit. They're adults. I have no right to say anything against that. That is why... That is why I chose to give my silent approval to their relationship. And tried to see her as little as I could. So I get along with Rina-san on the surface. I know my father would have a hard time keeping face if we didn't. But it's very or it's a very exhausting and painful thing to get along with a person I don't really like. So whenever Rina-san's come over, I spend as much time as possible outside, then head home late. Michan's club activities are the most convenient things to do to kill time. But there are some days we don't have a club meeting. On those days, I while away my time with I while away my time at a gar garbage dump hunting for treasures alone. And that's how I started to make my secret hideout. My father can do whatever he wants with Rina son at home. I don't have to see them together. I can spend my time peacefully at my hideout. I sometimes feel depressed about my life. I sometimes want to talk to somebody about it. But nothing will change even if I talk to somebody. This is all I can really do. The most important thing for me should be to overcome the sadness of losing my family as fast as I could and to regain my own happiness. I have so much fun every day and I am happy every day. Even on the way home, Keichi-kun was talking about funny things that made me laugh. My feeling gloomy in spite of that was kinda rude. My father should be happy. I should be happy. I just feel sad because I still can't separate from my father. Compared to the unexpectedness of the divorce, Rina-san's invasion is a very slow process. I think Rina-san understands how I feel. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. She treats me very kindly, but she doesn't do more than that. I think she understands that I'd feel uncomfortable if she did. I respect Rika-chan because she's strong even without her parents. Compared to the pain of losing both her parents unexpectedly, my problem is like nothing. I respect Satiko-chan's toughness too. She also lost her parents and was forced to live a painful life under her uncle and aunt. Compared to the cruel treatment she got, had to go through, my relationship with Rina-san is a blessed one. So I keep feeling anxious but that's just because I'm still immature and because I feel like I'm not ready to separate from my father. I have to be strong like Rika-chan and Satiko-chan. I have to try my best to be happy. So I'm going to live with all my might in order to regain the peace of mind that I lost that day. My assumptions that I'm not happy is just a mistake. I should appreciate the wonderful days I spend with my wonderful friends. Just by realizing that I'm happy the world shines so brightly. <笑>やれやれ。レナは毎日を楽しく過ごすことに関しては達人だな。レナは毎日が楽しいよ。こんなにも素敵な友人たちに囲まれて過ごす。こんなにも素晴らしい日々があって、どうして不幸が感じられる
Come on. Say the magical words. It'll cheer you up. That is... <laughs> that is her magical words, by the way. How? Yes. Huh? It didn't make sense to say it now, but I was going to say it anyway. So because this is my magical phrase that always cheers me up. So that's why she always says that, right? <laughs> and yeah, that one. Omochikairi. <laughs> this combination right here is Rena's phrase. <laughs> That's right. This is me, Rena. I'm not Rena. Rena still wants her parents' attention. Rena is a goofy and carefree girl. She knows that every day is full of happiness and she has a kind heart to appreciate it too. So I should forget about the icky things. I should live in a world free of anything icky. Icky starts with I. And that's why I got rid of I in Reina. Oh, there we go. I am Rena. I'm going to recapture the happiness I lost when I left Hinamizawa. I will overcome any pain and hardship. I can be happy. Because I got rid of icky things. I'm sure there are only incredible things or yeah, waiting for me. Oh, incredible starts with I too. So I was almost home and when my house appeared, I noticed something different there. There was a truck parked in front of my house. There was nothing on the back of it, but I can tell it brought something here because I saw some cardboard boxes. Blankets and ropes on the ground. From the front of the house, I heard voices of two young men saying, Well, we'll be going now. So they passed me by as I walked towards the front door. They were wearing some kind of work uniform, so they look like delivery people. So is uh, Rena gonna live with them now? Like, for real? So my father was about to close the door when he noticed me. My father looked to be in a good mood. I didn't know why he was, but whenever he smiled like that, I just wanted to smile back at him. His eyes used to look like those of a dead fish no matter how hard I tried to smile at him. But these days, he could put on a big smile just to surprise me. He has been literally coming back to life since a year ago when we moved back to Hinamizawa. No, since he started dating Harina-san. When I see him smile like this, I'm happy. But at the same time, I feel confused because I don't know whether I should think Harina-san or not. He took me to the living room. He was probably expecting me to go all oh and ah. So whether there was something in the living room or not, I was ready to go oh and ah for him. Okay, let me guess. Uh, TV? I tried to sound excited and surprised. He was standing behind me, probably smiling with satisfaction and hearing my excited voice. I, on the other hand, was desperately trying to understand what was going on. For a moment, I thought I was in someone else's house. Okay, what did he do? I. Okay, let's see, let's see. You see, the living room had completely, uh, had been completely redecorated. The furniture we had was all basically from the former house in Ibaraki. My parents bought most of the furniture when they got married, so it was all old and a little dirty. Some of them still had crayon scribbles I drew when I was very little. But all of that was gone now. Everything in the living room had turned a pastel color, looking very sophisticated, like the rooms you see in soap operas. Oh, okay, so he bought some new furniture, okay. The new carpet looked very tropical. The new curtains matched with the carpet. The new sofa looked very expensive. The living room in general looked like a resort hotel. The channel switcher of our old TV was broken and we used to have to use pliers to change channels. But it was one or it was gone too, replaced by a new one with a big screen. So they did buy a new TV. 
The room's lights also had been replaced by nicer, nicer looking ones. The living room looked a, a totally different world under the new fluorescent lights. すごいね、お父さん。これはどうしたの? I suggested re redecorating the house once in order to cheer him up because he was still in pain after the divorce but he wasn't interested at the time he didn't want to get rid of the old furniture he had chosen with my mom because he still couldn't get over her even though she cruelly broke up with him I wanted to suggest it again when the time was right I never thought he'd do it on his own initiative <laughs> ほら、レーナ、お前ユリースに憧れてたろ。まだ組み立ててないけど、ほら。ちゃんとあるんだぞ。はあ。お父さん、すごいすごいすごい。これ、私がもらってもいいのかな、<laughs> My father explained the details of his redecoration proudly. He told me that he only did the living room this time, but he's going to redecorate all of the rooms. He sure had become more active. There's some parts about the redecoration I didn't like, but I still thought it was great so, because it made him happy. I found the old furniture outside in our yard. Getting rid of the old furniture putting means putting an end to my mother. I guess, yes. To move on, or to finally move on, I mean. I hated the furniture because it smelled like my mom and I tried to break everything once. I understand my father wants to take this opportunity to get rid of them. But for some reason, this new living room makes me feel like I no longer belong here. My father didn't choose the new furniture. Rina-san probably did. Most likely my father and Rina-san decided to redecorate the living room and went to a furniture store to buy everything. Where is she by the way? Why don't we see her again? We only saw her a little bit, right? And we never saw her again. I tried to think positively. The reason why my father didn't tell me about the redecoration was because he wanted to surprise me. No, my father never really considers things that deeply. So I suppose he didn't tell me because he just didn't think he needed to tell me. I'm sure he didn't redecorate the living room to make me feel like I was no longer welcome. So don't be negative, Rena. My father didn't have any bad intentions. He doesn't want to get rid of me. He doesn't think I'm the reason he can't get married. And yet, why did I feel sad looking at the old furniture in the yard? Why did it feel like I didn't belong? I realized the reason right away. The reason was me. To him, wanting to have a fresh start by getting rid of things that remind him of my mom might be an indication of his unconscious desire to get rid of her daughter. My father doesn't really consider things deeply, so he might not be thinking that I'm the reason he can't get married. But he understands that he can't get married or remarried while we live together. By staying with him, I am torturing my father. It was my fault that he had to get a divorce. That's why I have to support him, to help recapture his happiness. So I couldn't just keep him all to myself. I'd have to start thinking about living on my own. I don't need to go to university. I should think... I about, about getting a job. But who would hire an, an educated girl like me? 
Even if somebody did hire me, I wouldn't be able to earn enough money to live on my own. Maybe I should think about working at a hostess club like Rina san does. Hostess club? People only choose the jobs they can. A girl like me doesn't have a lot of choices. Not a lot of companies would hire me or pay the amount of money that I need to live on my own. But... Come to think of it, where is the place where I belong? Whenever I end up feeling like this, I miss my secret hideout in the trash piles. I love to get under my blanket and feel the warmth on a cold night. The hideout gets hot and humid during the day and very, and very cold at night. It's not a comfortable place to spend time in. But it might be the place where I can relax the most. More than I can at my house. No, I shouldn't think like this. I shouldn't think that my house has been invaded by Rina-san. I should thank her for making my father happy. Rina-san isn't trying to kick me out of the house. She's trying to get along with me. But I'm not opening my heart to her. I'm the bad one. I'm the bad one. And I'm blessed. Satoshi Kun and his aunt didn't get along. And she abused him for a long time. Compared to him, my situation is a lot easier. Sadako-chan and Rika-chan lost their parents and they live together now. They've been through very hard times. On the other hand, I still live with my father so I should feel blessed. I shouldn't think I'm unhappy just because of these things. I am happy. I am blessed. The trouble with me is that I still can't admit that I'm happy. My father kept talking proudly about the redecoration. I nodded at him with a big smile and had let him keep at it. That's <laughs> He bought matching jackets for him and Re and Rina. I mean, him and Rina. Just to Oto san wa kaishu gyosha san wo tetsudawa na kya nara nai kara. Reina ga kawari ni totte kite kure nai ka. Uh, ii yo. Omise wo oshiete. Donna jacket wo tori yosete an daro. Tanoshimi. No matter what they look like, I'm sure Rina san picked them out for him. Although I don't mind going. I'd rather go to the store than listen to his stories about the redecoration of our living room. <laughs> I got the receipt then asked him where the store is, changed my clothes and left the house. I started pedaling my bike and looked at the old furniture in the yard for the last time. They used to be the object of my hatred but for some reason they now made me feel sentimental. Is it because I still feel re regret the loss of- I still regret the loss of my mother? Even though I hate her? I couldn't let poisonous emotions take over my heart. I understood that in my mind, but I just couldn't get rid of that feeling. I mean, of course, you couldn't get rid of that feeling easily. <laughs> that, that was your mom, right? The old furniture wasn't the only stuff that was kicked out of the house. There was a lot of junk that I brought home from the landfill. My father is probably going to throw that away too. <laughs> He doesn't like the junk I collect. He'll probably let the delivery company take it all together with the old furniture. Just like an animal that rubs its scent on its home in order to feel secure. I collected all the junk in order to make sure that I could stay here. No, that's not it. I wanted to, to bring them to my house because they were abandoned by their former owners. And they needed a place to live. I, oh, okay, so I guess that is her reason why she keeps getting cute things, right? She feel bad. She feels bad for the items that gets left alone by the owners. The store where my father ordered the jacket from is a fancy boutique. It's hard to believe my father would shop at a store like this on his own. So I could tell right away that Arena san took him here. I handed over his receipt to the cashier. A short time later, the store manager came out wearing a perplexed look. 
入荷のトラックが高速で自己渋滞に巻き込まれているようでございましておそらくはもうじき到着すると思うのですが He said that the driver called a while ago, told him he just got off the highway and would be here in about an hour. So I didn't need to know all the details, but he explained them to me anyway. I asked him if I should come back tomorrow. He insisted that I should wait because the truck would be coming shortly and he urged me to take a seat on their sofa. But I didn't really feel comfortable waiting there, so I told him I'd be back soon and left the store. I wondered if there are any fast food restaurants nearby. I might have to go all the way back to the station. So I looked around and found a coffee house. The glass on the door was black, so I couldn't see inside. But there was a poster saying the price for a cup of tea is lower than normal for women in weekdays. So I'd just be going to get a cup of tea to kill some time, so it should be okay. But still, I hesitated to go inside before opening the door. Her first impression of the coffee, coffee house was the smell of cigarettes. It's normal for coffee houses to be filled with cigarette smoke, so it's like a requirement. But Rana still regretted her decision. So who are we now? While she was thinking about leaving, the proprietor spoke to her br br bruskly? How do you even pronounce that? And showed her a table. Then Rena gave up on the idea of leaving and sat down. The atmosphere in the shop was far from clean and a normal coffee house where you would go simply to enjoy coffee and cigarettes. It was more like a place where vulgar people would hang around. <laughs> okay. Rena didn't feel comfortable at all, but what bothered her the most was the laughter of a man and a woman sitting together in the very back of the shop. Her table was behind the planter, so depending on how one looked at it, one could say she was in a spot most protected from their laughter. But Rena looked as though she wanted to leave as soon as she finished her tea. The bell hanging from the entrance door rang, letting her know a customer just came in. It was a little surprising for her that a coffee shop like this could draw in so many customers. I mean, it looks fine though. Like, look at this. It looks fine. I mean, no, the, it looks like the, 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 the shop, the, the shop, I guess, in her memories last time, right? With her mom. Yeah, it's this one, basically. Rena peeked at the newcomers from behind the planter. There were two of them. They look like vulgar men, the kind of people you don't want to get involved with. And then you saw them. So the proprietor tried to show them to a table, but they ignored him and walked towards the back. They walked up to the couple who had been laughing loudly and greeted them with a bow. Oh. Tepe. Oh no. Yatto kyutan ka. Ma suare ya. The couple stopped laughing and the man told the newcomers to sit down in a threatening tone of voice. As instructed, the two of them took a seat. Oh no. Remember Tepe had a a side piece, right? It's gotta be Rina. Yes. The two of them looked at each other before they took the the but look at each other before they each took an envelope out of their pockets and put it on a table. The man roughly grabbed the two envelopes and tore one of them open. Inside, there were many wrinkled 10,000 yen bills bound in a bundle with a rubber band. He opened the other one to make sure it also had cash in it and then threw it to the woman. Hey, I told you, man. It's Rina. The man yelled at the woman. She licked her thumb, looking annoyed, and started counting the cash expertly. The two newcomers hanged their heads while she counted. Lighting a cigarette, the man waited for her to finish counting. Hi, <laughs> 
The woman said that after flicking through the last bill, the newcomers looked relieved. The man, however, didn't look satisfied as he started or he stared at the bundle of the bills the woman was holding. It's go. The man and Ritsuko yelled at each other. Even though they were making all that noise, the other customers acted like they didn't hear anything. Two million? The two of them were trying to find some excuse to make. It seemed like this behavior had touched the man's nerves as he started looking furious. His angry voice echoed through the shop. He hit the table hard and dropped a glass on the floor. The noise thickened the tension in the atmosphere. The two new newcomers must have been in an extremely vulnerable position. So I guess they paid them, but without the interest. For example, yeah, the loan is two million. Then they paid that, but not the interest. They bowed so deeply that their foreheads almost touched the table. While you could pity them, the newcomers look as vulgar as the men threatening them, so making it hard to decide whether you should feel sorry for them or not. After a while, Ritsuko opened her mouth as if to offer help to them. The hell? <laughs> very, very shady people. すごいんじゃかわいそうでしょ。ごめんね。うちの人全に絡むとすぐ<笑> The man pulled Ritsuko roughly into his arms and frantically kissed her lips without caring about the other customers. Their kiss wasn't like the lovely ones that normal couples would share. It looked like obscene instead. Ugh. He let her lips go to take a breath and then kissed them again and repeated that for a while. After a while, he finally got bored of kissing and let her go. <laughs> ああ、そうよ。<笑>ハハハハ。ハンバカが。表で出るとか抜かしょんから、かかと狂ってやったわ。やろう、空手やるとか抜かしょるからどの程度か思うた。ちょっと芝居たら即土下座やん。表紙抜けしたからズボン
銭が足りんって騒ぎ出して今頃あんたたちすっぱだかにされて玉子川に叩き込まれてるわよすすまへんすまへんまあ利子は忘れたちゅうたかてかっちりキーズマに額を揃えたんだきゃ感心さなそこいらへん評価したってもええんでそれでねてっちゃんの利子ちょいとはあんまりだと思ったのよ今日だから5本で済むけどすぐにバイバイゲームになっちゃうでしょそしたらあんたたちすぐに逆立ちしても払えなくなっちゃうわよでね私あんたたちにいい話があんのてっちゃん悪いけどあんたちょっと席を外してちょうだいチッ<笑>しょうがねえな The man left the table with a grin and headed for the bathroom. So he was far too amendable to that request as if they'd planned for him to leave the table at that moment. Ritsuko made sure he was in the bathroom, then took some papers out of her bag and spread them on the table. Anta たちも若いんだから。あんなヤクザに絡まれて一生を不意にしたくないでしょだからね。てっちゃんの利子は今日きっちり払っちゃいなさいそうすればあんたたちはとりあえずあいつとは縁を切れるわけなんだからそりゃそうですけどでも50万なんてこれ以上もう払えないっすまあそうよね200万だって相当精一杯集めたんでしょさらに50万も工面できる当てなんてないでしょう<笑> They must have done their very best to collect even the money they brought today So it must be impossible for them to collect even a dime from anybody now They hung their heads and told her that でねほら気を利かせて私が書いてきてあげたのよ<笑> The guys looked at the paper on the table and muttered under their breaths. Tampo mo rentai mo iranai inde, choi to liritsu wa are da ke do. Kore nara, soku 50 man tsunde kureru wa yo. So they're gonna borrow money from her? <laughs> Is that it? So re ni sa, kono liritsu de mo, tetchan no liritsu yori wa haru ka ni mashi da to mo un da ke do. Do mo ka shira? It would be easy for anyone to guess what Ritsuko was trying to force them to do. They read a small print on the document and were stunned by the outrageous interest rate. Ritsuko didn't force them to do anything. She just looked at the window and then smoked her cigarette. After a while, the man returned from the bathroom. Oh, they looked at him, steeled themselves, and took the pen. Oh, oh, They must have planned this from the very beginning. The man and Ritsuko got what they wanted and grinned at each other. There were many things to fill out in the documents and it was taking them a long time. The man and Ritsuko, already knowing that, started talking amongst themselves. Ritsuko, what's your daughter of Hinamiza? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, she's gonna say something here. どうなんよ。だいぶ銭持っとんと聞かされてるん。どのくらい死亡れそうなんよ。そうそう、それがさ、すっごいのよ。別れた奥さんがだいぶ慰謝料をくれたらしいってのは聞いてたのよ。でも
かなりってどのぐらいねん銀行に5000万くらい持ってるわよ50 million yen あぶくぜになわけだしねもう気前がいいのなんのって<笑> How much is 50 million yen? なんでそれでどの辺まで行けそうなんねん私にだいぶお熱みたいだからねだって私が言えば何でも買うのよ何でもあんたみたいなドケチとは大違いよね私も本気になっちゃおうかしら昔はボケ俺以上の男が他にいるかや<笑>もうこんなところでよしってよもうでそのひなみざの旦那にどう持っていくつもりなんよあんたを出しに手切れ金がいるって方向で持ってくつもりなのよなんぼふっかけるつもりねそりゃあ If someone tells you that, run away. Yeah, in real life, just run. That person is gonna be using you. レッツゴー会計頼むね。The man pat them on their shoulders and then they walked out the door. Another person was just about to enter and they nearly ran into each other. The man probably wouldn't make way for the person considering his personality. But when he noticed who that person was, he stepped aside. Oh! Kasai. Dude, Kasai's an OG. Of course, <laughs> he's gonna step aside. That person looked as vulgar as all the other men. He was wearing a black suit with glasses on. Kasai's a real deal. You can see the pin here, though. He's a real deal Yakuza. He wasn't that big, but his stern look was very intimidating. It was clear at glance that he was a gangster and a professional one at that. The man who was behaving badly earlier looked a little nervous in front of him. As Ritsuko finished、uh, finish paying the check, she noticed the man in the suit. Ah, so she hung. Domo, oh, how you go, Zaymas? The man in the suit said nothing. He just raised his chin as if saying, F off. They love Ka- I love Kasai, man. Ritsuko and the others bowed to him and then he left the shop in a hurry. The proprietor noticed the man in the suit also greeting him with a bow. Who could have he been, or who could he have been? He appeared sedate compared to the other men, but he must be dangerous because he made even them step aside. Everybody in the shop thought the same thing and tried not to look at him. The man in the suit looked around and found the menu in the wall. The proprietor walked up to him hesitantly. Master. はい。何か部長法がございましたでしょうかこの日替わりデザートのス,ス,イスイートなんとかというのは今日はやっているのか<笑> ?OK? あ<笑>あ、いえ、本当は今日はやってないんですが、そのどうしてもとおっしゃるんでしたら特別にご用意を。I mean, of course, he's, he's, he's like shocked. Like... This big intimidating guy ordering a dessert. Muri Nara Muri to it to good ever he. Then also. Oh, Rakasai! She yon is here. Okay. <laughs> The music came with her. Tokubet and Goyo it to it to good ever Jan I deska. Kokomadic to meet Tom and I. The girl seemed to be the only one who couldn't read the heavy atmosphere in the shop. And she came in laughing cheerfully. 
It was me on Sonazaki's twin. Shion. Shion pushed Kasha, Kasha, Kasai into the store while he hesitated. She looked at the girl who was sitting down and stopped her in her tracks. あ、しーちゃん。こんなとこで会うなんてびっくりです。あれ。お一人。ひょっとして誰かと待ち合わせ。お姉かな。いやいや。ひょっとしてけいちゃんかな。あの、しーちゃん。その連れの人は。But you remember the ending in uh, last chapter, right? Kasai died. I don't know what year, but he died of liver cancer. Damn, Kasai. あと20も若かったらやばいかもだね。顔は怖いけど面白いやつです。こちらはね、リュウグーレナさん。お姉のお友達。カサイです。よろしく。えっと、カサイさん。さっきすれ違った人たちは知り合いですか？ Kasai nodded, indicating that he was familiar with them. Who?誰?私は全然あんなの見たことないけど。男は北条鉄平、ちょいと礼儀知らずのろくでなしです。A skunk of a human being. <laughs> True. She didn't seem to know who he was once. She heard the name Hojo. Woman's男の方は? Mami or Rina. Rina Mamiya? Why is it Ritsuko then? Genjina da to o m o i m a s h t A business name. Tashka, Ritsuko te namae da ta ka to. Oh, r i t s u k o Flower Road no mise no hitotsu de hataraite ru jugyo in des. So her real name is Ritsuko Mamiya. Okay. Kasai san, Rina san to sono hojo san wa do yu hito ta chi nan des ka? To te mo naka ga yosa so ni mie mashita. Rina's pimp. Rena pressed him for answers, and Kasai seemed to back down a little from the pressure. Rena is getting angry. Rena kept asking the same question until she got an answer. She only sensed how desperate Rena was and cut into the conversation. Kasai, don't be afraid to tell me. I'm not interested in listening to you. I'm not interested in listening to you. Right, Rena? Hmm. There was tension developing between Rena and Kasai. <laughs> Rena would fight Kasai, man. Shion seemed to be the only one who couldn't read the mood. Kasai finally opened his mouth. あの二人は立ちの悪いろくでなし友です。強括と爆地で生計を立ててると聞いています。詐欺行為もやるって話で。詐欺ってどんな？ <laughs> あいつらの詐欺ってのは、まあ、何？結婚詐欺ってやつですか？Marriage fraud. 要するに、男の人にいいよって、いい感じになったところで相棒の男が乱入して、俺の女に何しやがるって金を巻き上げる古典的恐喝です。Okay. 
最近でかい相手を引っ掛けたらしいと噂になっていますじゃあそりゃあどちら様か存じないけど気の毒なことででもまあ鼻の下を伸ばした代償なわけだし自業自得そんな言い方はないもんです男は時にコロッと女に騙されちまうもんですよ True though this happens in real life yes ほう何それ火災をコロッと騙した女って誰 Your mom? <laughs> I mean he really did right? マスターデザートは私と火災とあとレナさんでってあれ今お帰りになりましたよ Rena was already gone. The door, which had just closed, looked as if it was the only thing that knew where she went. Damn, this is why Rena was in, or why Rena is gonna do that, right? When I got home, the door was locked. I used my key to get in and find a note in the living room. Something's come up, so I have to go. I'm going to eat out tonight, is what the note said. This wasn't the first time he's done something like this. Each time he only had or told me he had to go to Okonomiya for something. But I knew the real reason because I heard him talking on the phone once. Rena must have had some free time between jobs and asked him out to have dinner together. I heaved a sigh, I looked at the new living room I hated, and then went to my room. I thought back over what I just heard at the coffee house. She, for, she didn't get the jackets, right? <laughs> she didn't go back there. I tried to rationalize the meaning of her actions. Maybe she, she had to pretend to be a bad person because she was being threatened by my man. But even after the man she called Techan, they, they were kissing earlier. She's not pretending. Right? Yeah, no, 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 no. She's not threatened by that man. She continued to threaten the guys and push them into assigning the loan contract immediately. And, it didn't, and she didn't sound like she's being threatened. Like it's normal, yeah. If she was threatened to play along with the man, she wouldn't have done that. If she was pretending to be a bad person, she could have shown a little bit of mercy or sympathy when he left her alone with him. It's like holding a water in a bowl you made with your hands. No matter how sturdy you made the bowl, water would leak from your fingers. Mercy and sympathy leak out from you. But nothing, not, not even a drop of water leaked from Rena son. Her hands weren't even moist, they were all dried up. There was no water that could leak through those hands. Rena san was threatening those guys as much as the man was. Neither was leading the other along. They were doing it together. That was it. Rena san is a bad person. So my brain cells accepted the idea with applause. After all, I always hated Rena san. I just couldn't accept the feeling because my father liked her. But at the moment, I could finally accept it. She's a bad person, just like my mother. She's an existence that will ruin everything and destroy my father's happiness just by, be just by being with him. But I wonder if my father would understand that Rina san is a bad person if I told him so. My father likes her so much that he would jump over a cliff if she asked him to. He thinks everything she does or says is great. And he interprets everything about her in a positive way. He protects her and praises her without her asking him to. I'm not a kid anymore. I understand how a woman can tame a man. It's different from love. Love is about trying to build a relationship. Taming is just a way of satisfying the lust to dominate. She's just trying to make him into her slave. Women can deceive men, even my father. They can use dirty methods to ensnare men like they're following a manual. It's the weak point all men are born with. Even with a strong will, they can't resist it. That's why we hate those women who exploit, exploit that weak point to deceive men. That's why I couldn't bring myself to like Rina-san. For the sake of argument, let's assume I acknowledge an unreciprocated love like that. But that would only be as long as it was love. If it wasn't love, 
if it was just a method to threaten to squeeze money out of him, I would never forgive her. I remember the conversation at the ha coffee house. Rina-san said that my father is a big spender. In fact, I think he spends more money without the hesitation than before he met Rina-san. I was happy that he started to regain an interest in going out into the world again, but now, I don't know whether I should be happy or not. He controls the money of the Ryugo family overall, but since I do the grocery, he often gives me his bank book so that I can withdraw money. Because of that, I know where he keeps his handbook or bank book, his personal seal and other important stuff. They are in one of his drawers, which he usually locks. I know where he hides the key and I know the combination of the cash box. So he might be coming back soon, so I felt a little nervous. But I had to make sure. I opened the cash box which had some bank books, personal seals, stamps, and news postcards. I removed everything from the cash box to get at the bank books then I found something new. On the bottom of the box, there was a bundle of new 10,000 yen bills. Its thickness wasn't something I could ignore. There was also a paper wrapper that looked like it had been bundling the bills. The wrapper had a stamp that said it was a bundle of a million yen. Jesus. He usually kept some cash at home because it was troublesome to go to the bank every time he needed money. But it was usually around 100,000 to 200,000 yen at most. He's never kept such a big amount of money at home before because he knows it's unsafe. The extraordinary, the ex extraordinary amount of 10,000 yen bills was abnormally intimidating. I tried to open the bank book but my fingers got numb all of a sudden. A part of me was trying to deny things I heard at the coffee shop. Coffee house. It wasn't because I wanted to defend my father or even Rina-san. It was because I didn't want to believe my father was the husband in Hinamizawa the blackmailers were talking about. So I opened the bank book. The last time I saw it was about 2 or 3 months ago so it shows countless withdrawals since that day. I probably wouldn't normally understand what those numbers meant but I felt in that moment as if the 10 different digits were speaking to me. They were a series of cruel digits. It starts with some un understandable expenses that I assume represent dinners or something. But then the amount of money starts to become nice, round numbers like a 5 or a 10. I can tell by looking at the dates he withdrew money that he wanted to have a certain amount of cash on hand when he went out to Rina-san. So among those expenses, a big number of appeared all of a sudden. It was too much money to spend on a date, hundreds of thousands of yen. I looked at the date of the withdrawal and traced it back in my memory. I remembered. Around that time, Rina-san was talking about moving into, my, into a new apartment. So I know the market rate of rental apartments in Okinomiya. You need to put down two safety deposits and two payments of key money in order to rent an apartment. So the amount of withdrawal sounded reasonable now. So he paid the whole down payment for her new apartment. After that, the big numbers appeared one after another, so I could tell they were for congratulatory gifts for a new apartment or something. <laughs> You're giving congratulatory gifts? You're the one who paid for it already. The numbers got bigger and bigger. It looked like at the fir at first he was withdrawing only the amount of money needed, but then he started withdrawing big amounts all at once because he knew he was going to use it someday anyway. The change meant only one thing. He lost his sense of the value of money. Yes, he's just gonna keep spending and spending until he doesn't have any more. The balance kept going down and I started feeling anxious about what's going to happen if he continued spending money like that. But then I saw a deposit of a big amount of money into the account. Where did that money come from? There was only one thing I could think of. I opened the other bank book. It was easy like a puzzle for kids. It was like playing with an easy jigsaw puzzle that comes with the huge pieces that you don't even have to put together to see what the whole picture looks like. My father was using money from his time deposits. 
In other words, the settlement my mother paid my father when she divorced him. To him, it's cursed money. So I don't understand if he wanted to use it to get a new love. But that was just an excuse to use the money from his time deposits. Money is money. Even though it's his divorce alimony, it's still important money for our future. Even though it's cursed money, that doesn't mean he can waste it. Big expenses start appearing one after the other. So there are many expenses upwards of six digits. For some reason, I could immediately tell they were for buying electric appliances and furniture. He must have been buying everything she asked him to. If from the beginning, Rina-san was only seeing to check if he could end up being a big catch, she must have been trying to find how much, how, how much money she could squeeze out of him. And my father bought him anything she wanted, no matter how expensive it was, so she probably thinks of him as a perfect catch now. The numbers in the bank book told me so. So the simple numbers and dates on the bank book had started talking to me. Around the time he started withdrawing big amounts of money, or big amounts of money, Rina san started coming to the house more often and she also started spending the night. To Rina san, my father was the first guy, or fir at first just a guy who spends big money. But around that time, she landed her big catch. My father used to refer to her as my friend in Okinomiya at first, but he started referring to her as Rina san around that time. This is partially his fault. But he was betrayed by his beloved wife, and he was feeling hurt and down for a long time. It's also partially my fault. That's why I didn't want to blame him. And he's not that good looking either. <laughs> what? There's no way he's immune to women. He must have not been able to resist an attractive lady who aggressively approached him when he was feeling down. Yeah, when he's very vulnerable. He's crazy about Rina-san and he can see nothing other than her. I can blame him. Rina-san trained him to be that way. I put the bank books and the other things back into the cash box. The cash box is just like my father's heart. Rina-san is eating up the contents. What should I do? Think Rena Ryugu. Should I tell him about Rina's scheme? The thing is if you tell someone like that, they're gonna deny it instantly. Instantly. Once you say it, instantly deny. Until you show proof, right? Until that person actually sees it happening, then they'll believe you. But if not, no, the hell no. No, they probably wouldn't do anything. Yes, see? The whole point of taming an animal is that it won't run away from its owner even when the door is wide open. So my, prob so my father probably won't leave his cage even if I open the door. Should I confront Rina-san about her plot when he's with her? The results would be the same. Rina-san would run behind his back. He'd probably try to protect her. If she pressed her breast against his back, he'd protect her no matter what. I couldn't make this a problem between me and him. First of all, I was trying to get rid of Rina-san for his sake. If we got mad at each other, it would give the advantage to Rina-san. It would be like I was putting myself into a trap. Then that meant I, could, I couldn't make him do anything. If I couldn't make him break up with Rina-san, I'd have to talk to Rina-san directly. So instead of making my father fight, I'd have to fight in his place. But how? That guy Kasai-san, who was with Shichan today, seemed to know the man Rina-san was with. I wonder if I can somehow meet him again. He looks scary, but I was introduced to him as a friend of Michan. Michan is out of the power around here. So there's no way he would treat me badly. I wonder if he could tell Rina-san and the man to back off from my father. That would help me a lot. But I don't know how I, could, how I could meet him again. I could ask Michan for help, but I don't want her to know about my situation. This is the problem of the Ryugo family. This is nobody's business but mine. Yeah, this is a battle that I'd have to fight alone. I regretted my parents' divorce. 
I wept about the tragedy I could have prevented if I tried. I wasn't going to weep this time. I wasn't going to let the chance slip away. This time, I would fight for my happiness. Okay. So I wonder what happens though. I mean, we already know because that these are in the beginning, right? That, yeah, she's gonna do it, but... What is uh, the point when she does it, right? What is Rena going to do? How is the confrontation going to happen? Dear Ritsuko Mamiya-sama. Sama. Executive Housing Corporation. Attached estimate. We thank you for your past visits and increase to our office. We've included the estimate for the property you inquired about. Oh, the apartment. Basic information. Property name. Palace of Versailles. Room 707. 14M1421. Property type. Modern condo. Layout. 2LDK. Shishibone City. Koiwacho. To Chome. Transportation line Gagura station, 5 minutes on foot. Cost 49 million yen. Jesus Christ, 50 million yen. Other southeast corner room elevator floor. Condominium fitness club membership included. Thank you for your interest in this property. The area around Gogura Station is a prime real estate zone for luxury condominiums along with future planned developments. The real estate values in and around the Gogura Station are expected to rise and this property is not ex an exception. So as a result, many prospective buyers are interested in this property. Hence, we'd like you to understand that the selection process for this property will be done via lottery. Also, we also offer a celebrity member prefer preferential treatment, granting higher or highly improved chances through additional lottery entries. Please feel free to inquire with our agents for more details. Okay, Kawabata. To 50 million yen. Her dad is gonna buy that for her? Jesus Christ. Okay, I can't wait for this. Like, I can't wait. Like, Rina, we saw Rina-san, right? Like, even... The first time we saw her. When she's talking, she like, she's like smiling all the time, right? Even then. Even, yeah, even this in this one. She was smiling. I can't wait for the confrontation with Rena here. When Rena confronts her. How are they gonna talk this out, right? I mean, they're for sure they're gonna fight. For sure, yeah. This, that is gonna happen for sure, but how? Like, I wanna see her angry face, yes, is what I'm saying. I wanna see that. We'll see, we'll see. So, Tepe Hojo as well. We saw Tepe Hojo here. Satoko's uncle, right? Hmm. Honestly, Ritsuko? The name Ritsuko, I think? I think we heard that before. I don't. I just don't know where, though. Remember uh, third chapter, right? When we started the game, there was a body. And I think one of the tips men mentioned Ritsuko or something. And then Tepe Hojo went back to Satoko, I guess, because her mistress or his mistress was gone. Something like that. I don't remember the, the exact details. So I guess maybe the one who died in the beginning of the third chapter or the body there, I mean, was Rina? Maybe that's a connection there. I don't want to search for it because I don't want to maybe accidentally see some spoilers, right? But I think, I think yes, right? Yeah, I think yes. Maybe that was her body in the beginning, right? Of the third chapter. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We're getting closer, I guess, to the confrontation with Rena. So it's going to be sooner rather than later for sure. So yes, we're going to continue this and do more of Higurashi When They Cry, Chapter 6, Shumi Horoboshi, in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.